Hey, tell that y'all family at this time, may the peace of y'all come upon you. When you learn to obey him, brothers and sisters. It's very important that I do this video, brothers and sisters. What I'm showing you is uh, some of um, um, the kind of work I do. But I, I want to talk about things more important than this. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we have issues. 2014. Ever since we came to America, over 500 years ago, brothers and sisters, and so when the civil rights movement came out, a lot of our people didn't see the great harm that it was going to cause our people. Yes, I entitled this Dick Gregory believed that the civil rights movement freed us in some ways, brothers and sisters. That's furthest from the truth, brothers and sisters. It brought us so far apart from each other from our identity to know who we are, brothers and sisters, because we integrated. With the devil, the enemy. Deuteronomy 28 tell you about the one who brought us into captivity, brothers and sisters. They are our, our enemy, brothers and sisters. In integrating, you give up your independency. Even you give up your independency to another nation as they view you in a different light. They already called us three-fifths of a, of a being. Yes. Wrote it into their law. They wrote into their law in Virginia that Negroes should be enslaved forever. Many people call the form of incarceration modern-day slavery. Brothers and sisters. Ever since the civil rights movement, brother, we've been getting the beat down during the uh, movement and after the movement. The movement took place. More killings than ever. More injustice than ever. No justice has come to us in America, brothers and sisters. But I know what some people call freedom. The freedom to um, make money, to do business. That don't free us as a nation. You see that, brothers and sisters. It don't bring our people together. We have more separatists, more individuality among our people than ever since the civil rights movement, brothers and sisters. People looking out for themselves. They're not, they don't think about nation building. They don't think about where we come from. They don't care about our ancestors, spirit that they had, the desire to go back home. They was crying out to they created Yah, Kumbaya. And majority of our people don't know what this means. Majority of our people don't know who they are. Brother and sister. They call us Negro, colored, black, and African American. And majority of our people don't even care. A lot of them brothers and sisters was a part of that movement that went to college, got degrees, became doctors, lawyers, judges, and all of these type of things. They go on to they go on the scene to speak at different colleges, different places, venues. Yes, they make money doing these things. They get paid. They're always showing up at the at the rallies for injustice when somebody gets killed. A lot of them. But it does not change, brothers and sisters. That's why I said um that's further from the truth. Anybody that believed that concept and that ideology that civil rights movement did anything for us, brothers and sisters. It set us so further back, brothers and sisters, from our goal when our people came here as four slaves. For over 200 something years, brothers and sisters, they've been forced. And now they're not so much forced as another mind control. The government don't uh, 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 pay your way to go home. They don't invite you or request or ask you, do you are you ready to go home? But they, they kill you. They exterminate you. I heard over a million, 1.6 million abortions per year. Through the Planned Parenthood movement. Alone. Planning out our own nation death. Depopulating our nation, brothers and sisters. Genocide.
And this is not a joke. This is not a, a, a game, brothers and, and, and sisters. Because our family, majority of them, still spiritually dead. But told that Yah, the creator, creator Yah, is waking his people up again. And restoring us this great wealth of knowledge, information. To know who we are, to know where we come from. And to pray, to rally, and to go home, brothers and sisters. And this is the call going out to all our brothers all over the earth. That have been taken far away from their borders and been scattered throughout all the earth, into all the islands, throughout all America. To reassemble yourselves back together. To Yah. Read Exodus, excuse me, not Exodus, Ezekiel chapter 37. Tell you about the dry bones. And how Abba Yah said He's going to pour out His Spirit into us again for the purpose to go home, brothers and sisters. That's when you know you have the true Spirit of Yah inside of you. The desire is to go home, not to remain and dwell among your captors. Your enemy that will never, never love you. They prove that to you every day. The Ku Klux Klan's turn from the, uh, the white hoods to the guns and badges. And they exterminate now people at alarming numbers, killing you. I just heard recently a European, what they call a white cop, raped six sisters, brothers and sisters. But our people go out on, on rallies and, and marches. The wrong kind of rally and marches, they assemble together to come and protest against this government that will never justify them. Some of our people call one isolated case, they okay, they let one pass under the, under, under the radar and convict one of their own a victory. When they kill over millions, since the transatlantic slave trade, brothers and sisters, According to a lot of documents I read, over 80 million of our people died. Yes, and, I, and this came because our people broke the everlasting covenant of Yah and he put us out of the land and gave us into the hands of man. See, if our people don't obey the prophets, like a lot of people don't obey the prophets today, even with the name of the creator, that I'm going to bring out later. And talk about Daniel 9, 19. Brothers and sisters, don't obey Yah. And because we didn't obey Yah and we turned to serve the other nation, gods, Elohims, idols, which Abiyah is not a god. Abiyah put a curse on his punishment for a period of time until we acknowledge him and turn to him. Then he said, turn back unto us and bring us home and clean us up and remove the sins away from us. Brothers and sisters, this is the time period we are in now. And a lot of people don't know this. The grave do not teach this. Maybe he's a more, I don't know. But they don't have the spirit, the ruach of Yah to return home. They account this as their home and accept this. Being integrated with their enemy while the enemy sit there and kill them. And even pay some of them to help kill their own nation, brothers and sisters. It's not a game. A lot of people joke around, play around. But you are dying. You are sick. Much diseases is upon the Abu nation, what they call Hebrew. And nationalized as Negro, black, color, and African American brother and sister. And portrait monkeys and all of these things they degrade you with. All these dishonors heaped upon our nation. Because of disobedience to Yah. Isaiah chapter 120 says, if you disobey me, the enemy going to kill you. And that's what's going on now among our nation today. The enemy is killing you. They destroyed your heritage. They went over there and destroyed your land. They unearthed it on grave sites. All of these things I'll be out saying they would do because of disobedience of our nation. Even to this day, our nation still play. Many. There's only a very few right now that's turning back 
to the everlasting Abba. Our ancestor, the Ancient of Days, who is Yah. Brothers and sisters, you got to make your mind up who you're going to serve. A lot of you don't know, but you got to learn. You got to listen. You got to read, study, and meditate on Yah. A lot of people turned you away from these scriptures. They call it a white man book. No, they just translated the Abiru book, just like the Arabs done, and came up with the Quran. You got to understand this, brothers. It's, it's very, it's very. I'm, I'm telling you this because I love you, and you need help. Many of you, your money can't save you. Your houses, your cars, none of these things can't save you but obeying Yah. Because I'm Yah on all the earth, so you can't come at them with money. In an in affiliation, you can't come at them with debt. He will reject you, cast you out. When you say you want civil rights and the civil rights movement, you tell you want to be in fellowship. You accepting residence with the devil. Yes, that's what you do when you're looking for civil rights from your enemy, brothers, who brung you by force. You got to understand that, brothers and sisters. You got to understand we came here by force. We came here by force, family. You got to understand these things. You got to know these things by force. We came and were scattered throughout the whole earth, brothers and sisters. It's very important to know this. To be in their schools and to learn their philosophy you lose your total desire to go home. The only thing you'll think about, I want to be an entrepreneur. You'll want to spend all of your time in America that your first ancestors weren't even born in, brothers and sisters. Think about that. Out of all the nations on this land, on this continent, even America, nobody get treated rest, worse than those who was brought here by slaves. It's no more conservation than those who are, are brought here by slaves. Civil rights never did job for us, brothers and sisters. Millions of our people, right now, is locked up. Any penitentiary you go to, you will see the majority of our people is dead. What justice is that, brothers and sisters? You can't say because our people do all the crime. No. Look at the situation we've been put in. You got to look at all of these things, but you allow uh, the European people to give you excuses. Why your people is in jail, and you accept this because a lot of you are on, on the official board with them. They pay you to keep your people blind in the dark. To turn your eyes and your ears and your mind away from understanding the truth and forget and even to hate your ancestors and the ones here before you today. You'll go home and count your money and think about how you rob your own people by telling them a bunch of false who would never lift them up. A lot of you get mad at me because I'm talking about Dick Gregory. I'm talking with the rest of them too. But I just heard this uh, video lately and I say that's further from the truth. So I have to expose these people. None of these people is our leaders. None of these people represent us. I don't care how much stuff he can say that's that it is true based on all these things going on. It's bigger than that. Brothers and sisters. We broke the covenant of Yah. We are here captives, brothers and sisters. When we separated. Brothers and sisters. They will respect your sovereignty that Abiyah gave you. They will respect you as a king. That a nation that had a king and queens. But when you integrate with them, you let go everything. You did not, you reject everything y'all gave to you. When you partnership, when you're in fellowship, when y'all are citizens with this devil. 
That means you want to uh, you want to take a ball with a snake that will never love. They show you, they kill you. The father said they will kill you. They will never love you. They said America is a corporation. It's under the power of the Vatican. The Pope. You got to know these things, brother. So you got to learn the truth. You got to accept the truth. The Father taught us to remove away from them, to separate. And now is the time to prepare to separate until we go home, brothers and sisters. We got the rally. Six months, I call you, to come. Many got the heart. And the love for their creator would do this in a nation. And that want to be a nation. Brothers and sisters, we got a Messiah that is coming from us. A king that would be the prince over the whole earth. The prince of shalom, the prince of peace. But how can you stay with your enemy and dwell with your enemy while they kill you and have peace? I'll be honest, you will never 